everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to talk about what happened when I tried to give the neighbor some eggs. I'll tell you that in a bit, but first I want to tell you, I appreciated all the comments I got on yesterday's taboo thing, and I've got some new ones to add to it that was given to me by those of you that are watching. Well, the first one was from Blue Bike and Doyle. He said that he's noticed that people um, say parents and siblings rather than mom and dad and brothers and sisters, which I have noticed that too. Mommy's budget said that she has n she didn't see people with sneakers on. That's true. People did not wear sneakers. They used to wear penny loafers as your um, everyday shoes, or they wore dress shoes, but nobody wore sneakers. Marsha's mush and stuff mentioned gas prices were less a long time ago. They were 97 cents, she remembers, but Jim remembers them even less. Mm -hmm. But he's older. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why. Yep. I don't know what it was at all. and I, I, The only reason I don't know what it was at all is I used to, I lived at home and we had a, because we had a farm, we had the gas tank right there and my parents used to buy it by the 200 gallons at one time and I don't know what they paid all I did was back up my car and count the cranks that I was turning in and I knew how many cranks I had to do depending on how empty my tank was so I never went to a paid gas station let's see Jessica Love she said in 1992 hospital waiting rooms allowed people to smoke So. They didn't, and it must have been, I don't know when they stopped the smoking inside, no, but I don't know. that was in 1992, which is not that long ago when you think about it. At least it's not for me. Liddy Mack mentioned how purple is a royal and wealth color, whereas a hundred years ago it would make you go crazy. Balefire Outdoors said that his parents went to his grandparents to visit and they spent the night, but even though they were married, the one had to sleep, they had to sleep in separate rooms and they had to be on separate floors. Can you imagine? Elaine Brown said about hats and public buildings. Okay, what it was is in, when you went entered a public building, you always took off your hat. When you came into the house, you always took off your hat. But when you went to church, you, if you were a girl, you had to have your head covered. But the boys always took off their hat. I remember when my grandson went to church with me the one day, and he had his beanie on, and I said, you have to take your hat off. And he looks at me like, why? And I go, because you're not supposed to wear a hat in the church. But a lot of kids still do, and the uh, girls don't need to have their heads covered anymore. I remember wanting to go to confession and it was one Saturday, and I was with my brothers, and we would always go to confession. And I thought, oh, I forgot to bring my chapel cap, because I used to have a little doily that I wore on my head. I wonder what ever happened to that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I um, didn't have anything for my head, so my brother gave me his handkerchief. And I went in the church with a handkerchief on my head. So, And you couldn't wear bare arms. You had to have your arms covered. My sister-in-law said that when she was in Spain, they used to actually carry sleeves. So when they wore their spaghetti straps or their sh sleeve, their, their shirts without the sleeves, they would put the sleeve on so that their arms were covered because you couldn't go in the church with your arms covered. Or in shorts. There's so many things that they do now and couldn't wear mm. flip-flops in church. Yeah. You couldn't do any of that. You dressed up for church. And Emmy... She noticed that swear words don't have the zing that they used to. That is true. I used to work with this lady, and she was, um, oh my goodness, she would swear the F word and, and S word and D word. <laughs> she would say them all, and she was, every other word was that. And when we were with her husband, though, she never said not, not a peep, not a single one. So it was kind of funny because she really didn't seem like herself when she was with her husband. She had a really clean mouth when she was with her husband, but when she was at work, my goodness, she could swear worse than, than 
a no sailor, sailor, as they used to say. <laughs> and I don't know if sailors swore or not, but that's what the saying used to be. But it's true. And I had a little boy in the daycare that used to say the, the, the F, F word. word. Not friend. <laughs> 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 and it sounded, and he used to um, put the, he, he it was, sounded he, like bucket, but it was with the F in front of it, you know. And so we said, you can say the word, but you have to put blue in front of it. So he used to say the blue, not blue bucket, but you know what. Um, and the kids used to say, you forgot to say blue, you forgot to say blue, because he used to just say the word. And so then it got to the point where he wasn't finding it fun because nobody noticed that he was saying the bad word. He, they were just noticing he forgot the blue in front of it. So, but it's true. The, the, and there's boys and girls both use bad language. And I have a granddaughter that would, would say that they're more intelligent because they use those bad words. And I'm thinking, no, I think they just use them because they haven't got a very big vocabulary and they can't think of any other word to put in there. So they just throw one of those words in. And it's gotten to the point where you don't even notice them because they're in there left and right and a lot of times I'll think of a different word they could have used in that sentence. It's what's running through my head. So I'm not even really hearing what they're saying. So that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when I went to give my neighbor the eggs, I have to Where tell you. Where was she? Oh, she was on the driveway. She was she she had gone to the mailbox and I thought, oh I gotta hurry because she's a fast walker. She's she's eighty years old, but boy, she can walk fast. <laughs> And I didn't have a coat on. I just had my sweater on, and but I did put the boots on. I did put my 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 barn boots again because they're the closest to the door that I want to go out. And I I hollered to her. I says to Ju I go Judy, and she happened to turn. Luckily, she heard me because she usually wears her hearing aid, and she may not hear anything without the hearing aids. But I yelled loud enough, and apparently it was a tone that she could hear. I said, wait a minute, I got to give you some eggs. And so I'm at the end of the porch that I got off. There's no steps. You took oh. the steps out. And it's deep. It was like 16 inches, 16 inches high. The snow went oh. like two to three inches over my boots. And I'm walking through the snow. I fall once on my butt and she kind of chuckles. I could hear her. <laughs> and then I got up. And I'm walking again, and then I fall forward on my on on the whole front. The whole front of my sweater was full of snow, and and I had the eggs. I said, "Your eggs are still good," because <laughs> they went down into the snow. But the snow is so deep that nothing really it it didn't hurt anything. And I finally give the the eggs to her, and I come back in, and I am covered in snow. I had snow in my boots because the boots were full, my socks were wet, my pants were wet, my bucket was wet, everything was wet. I was just, my shirt was wet, I was just dripping with water. It was bad. And I didn't have a coat on, I didn't have my gloves on, and I fell, and I had to get up all by myself. It was, it was oh. very high though, very, very, then to try it to get, okay. then, then I wanted to come back up onto the porch, and it's the highest part of the porch. If I were to stand up, it's like, the way it felt, it was at my waist. But it's only all. But it felt like it was so high, I couldn't lift my foot above the thing, I, and um, so I got on my hands and knees, <laughs> 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 crawled onto the porch, and then I stood up. Oh, what a fiasco! It's. I said this would have been the time Jim should have had the camera and watched mm -hmm. from the house. He would have seen it. I. <laughs> There's no way I could have carried a camera with this, what I was doing. Well, that is my video for today. I hope you all had a great day and stayed warm. The snow is supposed to start melting in some places, and we're supposed to get up to 30 tomorrow, I think, and sunshine. Yeah. Yahoo! It's a heat wave. <laughs> <laughs> At least it'll feel like a heat wave. I got nine eggs. Like said, nine eggs, you know. yes, because Mr. Brown gave me an egg, and I put Mr. Brown to bed. She um, 
of course, followed me around as I'm picking up the poop because I always have to pick up some poop before she goes to bed. And then I put her into bed, but that was the day. And she had laid an egg. She took her a long time to lay this egg. She was in the nesting box for a good hour, hour and a half. She took a very long time. Must have been a difficult egg, but it was a cute little egg. They're perfect. And so that's it. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.